Okay, so for this question, we're told that the student then uses this iterative formula to work out an approximation for the root where the graph y equals x crosses this graph y equals 2 times the natural log of all of 8 minus x. That root being alpha. And we've got to say whether using this first approximation of x1 equaling 4 will give us an approximation then to alpha. And so to answer this, what you'd need to do is draw a cobweb graph on top of this graph here and hope that it spirals in. We take our first approximation, x1 being equal to 4. And from here, we draw a line up onto the graph of y equals 2 times the natural log of 8 minus x. When we substitute 4 into here, it gives us the corresponding y value. Okay, that will be this one across here. Right? But you'll notice I've stopped it at this point here because that y value is the same as x. If I was to come down here, that value of x, let's just do it in green, okay, would be a value down here. And this becomes our new x value that we're going to substitute into this formula here. It would be x2. And with that value of x2, we would substitute it back into our equation and it would give us a corresponding y value. If I come up here, we substitute it into the equation and you can see it would give us this y value here. I would take that y value, okay, and it would be exactly the same as this x value if I projected downwards, okay. Let's project downwards, it would come down here and this value here would be our new x value and it would be called x3. And if I take that value of x3, substitute it into here, it's going to give us this value here as our y value. And can you see it's starting to spiral in towards our root alpha. If I was to do this again, this would be our new x value. I'd project it down to here and let's say we call it x4. Obviously, it's getting a bit cramped here, so I wouldn't be able to keep drawing this in. But hopefully, I've done sufficient here to be able to demonstrate that this is spiraling to the root. But if I was to carry on, that value of x4 would be substitute in, give me this y value here. And I come across here, and as you can see, hopefully, I'm getting closer to that root alpha. So there's my cobweb design and the conclusion then is that this formula can be used as an approximation to alpha since the cobweb graph spirals inwards towards alpha. So that's basically it. I'm sure you don't need to write in these values for x1, x2, x3, x4 and so on. But you do need to show at least two spirals inwards. Okay and write a conclusion stating then that that graph spirals inwards towards alpha to justify the use of this iteration formula. Okay?